Hello and welcome back to another task tutorial video. So today we're gonna go through treat injured and what I'm thinking about is we're gonna make sure these two crew members are injured and need to be treated and we're just gonna make a task for this. It's th just that simple. So we're gonna start off with open bracket here. Sorry, sorry, let me back up one step. We're gonna go into the naked tasks uh, script folder we can open up run sqf and in here just scrolling down a bit you will find treat injured so let's start typing this so the task type number two and then we're going to do another open bracket for all the parameters uh, let's do task name so nikki task one now let's do two because i already have one in this file uh, followed by the task description. I think this is how every single um, task is going to start, just so you know. Uh, treat injured soldiers by hunter. Or let's do by MRAP. Finished. And then the title treat soldiers. End bracket. So now we've finished the task description, description and title. Now we're going to do destination where the task will be placed on the map. So the task icon that's going to be placed on the map. Um, I'm not going to put it exact. Well, we can do it in two different ways. Uh, let's see here. Destination. It can be marker or X, Y, Z. So it can actually be three different ways. Uh, and if you don't want it on the map, you just type OBJ null. So if I do that it's not going to appear on the map at all but I want it to appear on the map we can do it by probably the easiest way we can do system empty marker and then create one there and let's call it treat soldiers and if we go back into the scripts we can type treat soldiers and now the task is going to be on this marker and if I move it over there it's gonna be over there another way you can do it is if you give this uh, hunter a name so mrap1 it is now mrap1 I could do get pass mrap1 this will also work just fine uh, another way you could do it is right click where you want it so say I want it on this building right there I can do log position to clipboard and paste and then it's gonna ha be placed on this exact position but um, those are the three options let's just do the marker treat soldiers uh, next parameter is injured an array of all injured units names in strings so we're gonna do uh, open brackets and then this guy is called crew 1 and this one is called crew 2 so we're gonna do crew 1 in strings and crew 2 and bracket there uh, health which health the unit needs to reach to be considered treated 1 equals 100 percent so if you're using the vanilla armor system uh, only a medic with a first no sorry with a medic kit can heal someone to 100 percent any soldier can treat using first aid kits but you will only reach 75 percent health at most uh, so if you use the vanilla system i recommend 0.75 uh, if you're using another means of doing this uh, there is an add action version you can use but for this uh, for this demonstration we're gonna use 0 0.75 so I'll just need to go up slap a bandage on or a first aid kit on him and he's gonna be fine uh, apply animation sets the unit into an incapacitated state uh, you can type true and then the script or my task function will automatically put him in the incapacitated state if you type false he's gonna be just he's not gonna be forced into any type of animation but you can if you want to 
place him in your own animation, for example, if you want him sitting against a wall or something, uh, in a very in a in a selected animation of your sh uh, of your choosing. Um, so you have that option. But we're gonna use the uh, default one by place uh, making it true, and then we have another option here. We're gonna skip this one for now. This one allows you to place an add axis. So if you're using Ace or similar, I don't know if my uh, parameter for the health is gonna work properly. Also, if you're using Ace, the person is probably gonna bleed out before you get there. Just a thought. Uh, so there is a way to just force him into incapacitated state and then an add action but we're gonna skip that one for now so I'm just gonna type nil that means that it's gonna use the default settings which I believe is false um, and then we have the code what is gonna happen after the uh, after the task has been finished or failed. It's gonna fail if uh, none of the soldiers were treated, it's gonna succeed if at least one was treated even if the rest was killed. But I'm not gonna use the code either so I'm just gonna type nil and I'm gonna close up the brackets and we're gonna copy spawn and make it tasks run. We need a space in there as well there we go now I'm gonna move this into the init because I like having things in the init you can see that I already have one if you have seen the avoid casualties uh, task description or tutorial you can see that one there um, this one is called Nikki task 1 this is called Nikki task 2 these may not be the same if they are then they're gonna fuck up uh, if this one is basically going to overwrite this one so you don't want to do that and as mentioned in earlier videos this can be placed in a trigger as well if you want to alright let's save this and let's go into the mission here let's save the mission and let's play scenario um, testing this in multiplayer just to show that the task is going to show up in this uh, in this briefing screen even before you load through the mission so here you can see treat injured soldiers by MRAP simple nice and simple and you have the task marker right there so let's load through and we're through you can see these guys are on the ground they have slightly blood or very bloody clothes and they are now in need of healing uh, I only have one first aid kit, so hold on. Player add item first aid kit. Now I should have a few extras. Yes, four more. So let's treat this guy. Using Manila systems. He's been treated. Uh, he's not going to stand up. He's just going to stay in there. And I can treat this guy and when I've finished treating him this task will probably finish within 10 seconds oh even faster so now we've uh, successfully treated the soldiers and the task is completed um, there is not much more to say really uh, oh yeah there was one more thing I was talking about which was uh, let's go back in here so this is the code we were using and we were talking about this add action thing so on off name and condition we're going to let's just uh, make one in case you need to use this rather than uh, some medical system that you are using uh, so that means open bracket and then we need to do true because we want to add the add action to him the name the visible name of the add action treat soldier uh, let's spell that correctly too. Next we have the condition which has to be fulfilled in order to treat the injured. So this is if you want to enter a custom uh, 
condition for the person to be able to interact or use the add action with the unit so if you have uh, some scripting knowledge you will know that you can do something like if the person is assigned a variable like a medic or if he uh, if he has one first aid kit in his inventory uh, something like that but I'm just gonna do default which means it's just gonna work so that's just two quotation marks or you can actually leave it empty I think uh, but two quotation marks and you're safe and then we're gonna do close bracket so now we've added the add action to the unit uh, so now we just need to update what we have in the init.sqf to this uh, I've had to do a little retake because I kind of messed something up so we're gonna gonna back out of this um, let's load through a new and we should now be able to treat the people or the injured soldiers with the um, single add action the people or the soldiers are not going to be injured in this uh, in this example due to the fact that if they are injured you will be able to treat them with the first aid kits with my which might cause some other issues I don't know but we're just gonna be able to treat them using the add action this time so we're just gonna do this it's gonna run an animation and apparently I lost my left arm <laughs> <laughs> and now we're gonna see alright we're not gonna see if he's uh, fully treated unfortunately I can't accelerate time at this point but we can look at our beautiful animations here well, I lost my left arm again and now it shouldn't take long until the task will finish there we go the treat soldier one is still there that's a glitch I'll fix by the end of the video so you're not gonna have this treat soldier add action staying around I know what I've screwed up there something I had to fix earlier anyhow um, that's that. Uh, what else is there to show? Yeah, I can show that it will fail. You can see here, treat soldiers have completed. Alright, so if we run up to these guys and we shoot them dead. Now it will take a moment and then the task is going to fail. And there you have it. The treat injured. Um, uh, the treat injured task and that's something you can use um, by using some extra code manually uh, you can make it so that they stand up after having uh, been treated you can make it so uh, yeah I don't know whatever you think of you have the code option thing available to you that parameter will let you go uh, very far if you have the knowledge, the know-how, and the the uh, uh, you feel like uh, putting in the extra effort to do so, it might not be necessary. I've done a task where where it's mentioned that friendly forces will move in and secure the zone. So just by having treated them initially means that you've finished a task and you can move on to another on a new task. But yeah, if you have a script or mod that allows you to carry them you can also make a little extraction task for them as well which I've also done in the past anyhow thank you for watching I hope the video and the script is useful enjoy